Hi, this is Mark Payne. Uh, I'm excited to bring you some updates on uh, getting Waves working on M1 systems and Big Sur. Uh, lots of people have been really frustrated with this. The general problem people have been having is that Logic will validate their Waves uh, plugins. Uh, maybe you're trying to do this under Rosetta. Maybe you're trying to do it under Native. Uh, it runs through and validates, but then you go into Waves, you try and select a plugin, and it's not in the list. And you can fight this uh, for months and months, and it's still won't work. It works for some people and it doesn't work for others. It's incredibly frustrated. I had one uh, MacBook Pro where I had no issues at all. Uh, MacBook Air, 8 gigabyte machine here. It wouldn't bloody run anything. Uh, we're in a good place now uh, and I'm going to take you through and show you how I fixed it. Okay, here we go. So basically three sections. Section one, I'm going to show you the problem uh, that a lot of people are having and demonstrate what happens in Logic when you can't get your Wave stuff working. Secondly, I'm going to relate to you a really good workaround that anybody can use, uh, even without any do doing any clever stuff or updates. It's an idea from uh, my friend at Slowpoke Productions. Thirdly, then I'll go on and show you with the updates that we can do to Waves and to Big Sur, how we can get rid of this problem and fix it forever. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate the typical waves problem that we have with Logic. Uh, this is running on M1 systems uh, where we don't see the waves uh, plugins listed in Logic when we come to add them. This is my Wave Central, and you can see that I've got the Abbey Road plates installed, and I've also got uh, the Mercury bundle, which is loads of stuff. Well, I've got the SSL 4000 collection, and I've got Studio Rack, which I'll be showing you uh, later on. This is the typical problem that you see that a bunch of plugins that I've got installed, waves plugins plugins aren't recognized. So CLA guitars, uh, uh, the Doro meter, H reverb that I use a lot, uh, the L1 and L2 limiters, the Manny delay, uh, well, and it's also moaning about Melodyne, but I don't think I've even installed Melodyne on this system. So, uh, it's not moaned about all of the Wave stuff, so I'm in a situation where some of my Wave's plugins are being recognized and some of them aren't. Now, different people have different problems. I had no problems at all on my MacBook Pro once I started Logic in Rosetta. All of the Wave's plugins were validated, and then they all appeared when I came to try and add them uh, into the channel lists. However, on the Air Machine, you can see that some of the Waves plugins are working. There's the SSL compressor that's working. It is uh, H Reverb, and that's got an exclamation mark on it because it's not recognised. And in fact, if I came to add it, so let's let's find a, a place here and add a plugin like Go to Waves and have a look what I've got. Well, it looks like I've got a lot of Waves plugins here, but it's really not the full list. And if I go down and look, try and look for H Reverb, which I use a lot. Uh, uh, e, ABC, e, F, G, H. There's H delay in there, but there's no H reverb. We have a look at plugin manager. So preferences, go to plugin manager, go to waves as a product, and go and have a look for H reverb. Here we go. Can you see that H Reverb has been successfully validated and it's recognized that we've installed, um, in my case, version 11.05, and it's there in the validation list, but it's not being seen uh, by Logic when we come to install it, and that's incredibly frustrating. And different people's experience has been slightly differently. It can be anywhere, as I've said, between everything's validated and everything's recognized to everything's validated and nothing's recognized or somewhere in between, which is my case. So incredibly frustrating. So here's a nice little workaround for getting uh, Waves plugins recognised within Logic. It's not the full solution, but it's a good workaround, and I really want to give credit uh, to Slowpoke Productions, who I'll link down below. Uh, go check out his channel, give him some love, because this was his idea, and I just want to show you how we do it. Okay, so uh, here I've got uh, Wave Central running, and up here I'm just logged on to uh, my Waves account, and what we're looking for is uh, uh, Studio Rack, which is a free plugin and uh, get Studio Rack free. And it's registered to my account, so it should turn up in Wave Central. So now we can see Studio Rack's available for me in my account. So let's go ahead and uh, install that and activate it. So I'll come, I'll come back to you when that, uh, when that's, when that's installed. So now we can see Studio Rack's installed, so we can say OK to that. 
Uh, excellent. Uh, let's start Logic. Logic has recognized the new installed plugin and is uh, just uh, validating it for uh, Logic. And that load is completed and you can see here that we've got a bunch of plugins that uh, we can't find on the system because we have this uh, typical waves problem. So this was uh, a Slowpoke's idea. If you now go and add uh, the uh, Waves uh, Studio Rack, uh, their Studio Rack that I've just installed, install that as a stereo um, uh, item. Uh, that's going to be inserted into uh, the track and now the whole point of Studio Rack is it's a Waves environment where I can put Waves plugins within it and now what I can do is I can put H-Reverb in there so if I go down to um, reverbs that I've got installed and look uh, the um, H-Reverb is found there and there it is and it's going to work fine so the whole point about this is that although Logic isn't recognizing all of the Waves plugins, if you put Studio Rack in a track, then you'll be able to install them inside Studio Rack. And with Studio Rack, you've got the ability to put a, uh, any number of Waves plugins, well, shoot, probably eight, I think. So eight Waves plugins can go in there. So yeah, that's a really good workaround from uh, Slowpoke production. So uh, a fantastic idea. Uh, however, we want to move on and, and hopefully get the real fix where all of the Waves plugins will appear. But this will get you out of trouble uh, if you can't implement an upgrade. So let's just quickly look at what versions I'm running on uh, this MacBook Air. And you can see that I'm running uh, version 11.1. .1. It's not the latest release, which is 11.2.2, .2, and we're going to be upgrading to that to see if that makes a difference. I'm doing about Logic Pro, which is at the top there, and you can see I'm running the latest version as of now. We're in March uh, 2021, and this is uh, version 10.6.1, and I'm running uh, Logic under the Rosetta environment because so far that I've found that that's much more reliable to run a logic under Rosetta when it's communicating with non-native Intel-based plugins. You'll know that I've done quite a lot of work on that and I've got videos detailing me using uh, logic in both native mode and in Rosetta mode and comparing the performance. Okay, so time to do uh, an upgrade. Let's first of all make sure that we uh, take a latest and greatest backup uh, to uh, Time Machine. You definitely don't want to be doing a, uh, you don't want to be doing a Keep My Mac updated automatically. That's a recipe for disaster in the production world. Uh, so definitely turn that feature off. You only want to be doing software updates when you want to do them. So you can see that the latest is 11.2.2. Okay, uh, so uh, that started, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Uh, I've got a coffee. Uh, if you see me come back with a glass of wine, you know that something's gone horribly wrong. <laughs> see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I'm drinking coffee. It took about um, 40 minutes to complete in entirety, uh, so it all went pretty good. But let's start uh, Logic for the first time. Uh, still running under Rosetta. Uh, so, no, uh, you can see that I still have the same problem. So, I've still got um, uh, plugins not recognized. Now, uh, I, I didn't necessarily expect this upgrade to fix that. So, the next thing I want to do is see if it makes any difference if I run Logic in native mode. Applications and go find Logic. I'll do an info on that. Uh, turn off the Rosetta mode. Some people have had problems with the 11.2.2 .2 update that when they do it, they uh, they lose the ability to control whether Logic is in Rosetta or not. It, it will therefore only be able to be started native. Okay, so you can see we still have a bunch of plugins that aren't recognized. I would like to find, for example, the H reverb that I was using, trying to use earlier. It's not there. Nothing's changed. However, the uh, the workaround that we discussed, where we drop a studio rack in and uh, open the studio rack and then put a reverb plug in there, you'll find that we absolutely can have the H reverb. So that uh, plug in is still valid. 
that workaround that workaround is still valid so that's that's cool but we haven't got any further so i tried all the things uh, i deinstalled my version 11 of waves i reinstalled it i rescanned uh, the plugins and it's made no difference the update to 11.2.2 in itself hasn't changed anything it's time for me to move waves on to a supported pla platform at least for big sur now i know officially m1 isn't supported but i should be moving waves to a uh, version 12 so uh, that upgrade for my mercury bundle and my studio classics which is the ssl 4000 stuff uh, that's going to cost me 181 dollars so i've pulled the plug on that because it's about time i don't do waves updates all the while but i do them every now and again and it's been a couple of years since i updated my main stuff uh, i've been through the process of downloading um, uh, version 12 installing it activating it uh, through wave central uh, i'm sure you if you're using waves you know how to do all of that you can see we are initializing and uh, scanning these new plugins which are the version 12 updates so uh, you don't want to watch that screen go so we'll come back when that's finished well, this is very exciting. Uh, Logic has finished validating those plugins. It's come up without any any errors. Uh, there are no uh, plugin errors, and H Reverb, which is now there, that wasn't working before, and it's working now. Uh, let me just have a look at the. Let's go and add a, add add a plugin from Waves into. So we were missing like the Doro, weren't we? The Doro meter was missing. Let's see if it's there now. We C D. Uh, Doro meter stereo. Put it in. Yes, and this is the new version. I don't. Re uh, the graphics are different, so this is the new version, which is scalable in size that we didn't have before. Uh, that's cool. And uh, let me just have a quick look at the SSL bus compressors. See if they look any different. Yep, that's the version 12 as well. That looks a little bit different. And again. The size is scalable with this ability to get rid of the junk as well around it. So that's going to be really helpful. Uh, uh, I just found it all too blocky with the plugins. Uh, so, yeah, that's fine. Now, of course, I should make sure it makes sound. Yeah, that's all fine. Excellent. Yeah, so. Uh, um, we're in business here, that's Waves. So I'm just going to open another session from another band, just from the get-go, just to see if this works and that it's stable. Remember, I'm running Rosetta here now in native mode. I'm not in Rosetta anymore. Okay, so that's loaded this session. Let's just check that it runs. to be careful with that that's uh, copyrighted music going out over youtube uh but that that was fine that's uh that's running absolutely fine again that's a i can recognize that that's a version 12 of that plugin uh yeah absolutely spot on so there you have it uh, version 11.2.2, uh, which is the Big Sur update, just released at the end of February, particularly for looking after the um, problems with blowing up MacBook uh, Pros for, and Airs uh, using these USB-powered devices like hubs. Uh, that's really why it was released, but obviously there's been a few changes rolled into it, and now I can get Waves plugins to be recognised uh, within Logic uh, running even even in native mode which is the way we're running it now the reason why we do want to be running logic now in native mode which is contrary to advice i'd given earlier is because 11.2.2 uh, .2 for a lot of people has got a problem where uh, rosetta mode for logic has been either lost or removed or as the case i had uh, it runs but i get very strange uh, screen glitches you'll see that in a previous video so we're now running native logic on 11.2.2 uh, .2. obviously changes have either been made within uh, the Big Sur uh, update or waves or both uh, but version 2.12 now uh, loads without any issues so uh, I'm going to recommend an update if you're using waves on M1 machines 
I'm really going to recommend an update to 11.2.2 and uh, I get your waves up to 12. And even though it's not supported on M1 systems, it certainly is supported on Big Sur. And as you can see, I've got happy days here. Now, uh, please make sure you time machine. You, you uh, uh, make sure you do a time machine backup before you make the move over to 11.2.2, just in case um, you have to go backwards. This is still early days for me. Um, you might have other plugins that you've got issues with. I just say again that my main plugin providers are Softube Console One, Waves, obviously, which you've seen all that working, um, Fab Filter. Uh, I also use uh, Liquid Sonics and Melodyne. I've not tested Melodyne yet, actually. So, that, uh, but anyway, that's where we're at. I'm pretty happy. I hope this has been useful to you. Um, leave your comments. Let me know how you're getting on down below. Uh, with the number of subscribers I've got, I'm still in the privileged position where I, I can get time to uh, answer everybody individually. And it's great for me to know what you'd like me to look at next. Maybe there's something you'd be interested in me trying out. Uh, uh, leave me a comment uh, below. Uh, so happy days. Speak to you later. Bye.